told you. That's all the money I've got. And I told you it's another ten from the airport. Well, I haven't got it. Well, you better get it. I'm fast. Why are you being so horrible to me? Have you got any idea why I've had to fly all the way back here? I've never met you before. I'm here for a funeral. Do you want to know whose? Not really. My grand's. She's been ill for a while. A stroke. She could only communicate by blinking. Once for yes, twice for no. Which made it really difficult trying to talk to her over the phone. She was the sweetest person I've ever known. And now I'm never going to see her again. <laughs> you know what? Forget the money. It's fine. I'm sorry for your loss. Excuse me, you, um, you all right? I am now. Although, I won't mind a hand with these bags. Uh, all right, where are you, uh, where are you going? Don't know about you, but I could do with a drink. Do you know what? That's not such a bad idea. I'm Gavin, by the way. And I'm thirsty. So come on, hurry up. I'm guessing you must be pretty cut up then. You are. How about your grand eye? Sorry, I uh, couldn't have overhearing. No, my grand's fine. I spoke to her the other week. Well, I thought you were here for a funeral. That was just to get him off my back because I didn't have enough money for the fair. Don't look at me like that. Bet you've told a few porkies in your time. Anyway, it worked, didn't it? All right, and what about the money? Oh. That part's true. Totally broke. So how are you going to get by without any cash? Well, not done too bad so far, have I? Milan. Sound. What were you, uh, what were you doing out there? Uh, studying. Oh, yeah, college, uni? College. I was going to go to uni, but changed my mind. Well, so you just jumped on a plane and came here? I can be very impulsive. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that. Besides, have you never wanted to just dump everything in a bag and just disappear? Now and then, yeah. But I don't think my girlfriend would be too happy. <laughs> That's your way of telling me you're unavailable. You can relax. I just wanted some company and a drink. Or two. Same again? Uh, no, get something else. Like what? Surprise me. Mm. It's not what you call a classic. <laughs> not like, say, vodka and cranberry. Oh, you like vodka? That'd be lovely, thanks. Uh, I'll make do with orange honey if uh, cranberry's too exotic. How these museums stay open. Can not even have an espresso machine? <laughs> In the glove compartment. <laughs> well, remember me. Oh, this is uh, Steph. I was telling you about my girlfriend. And my dad, Michael. This is... Uh, we didn't do names. She's uh, just off the plane. Oh. Return ticket out. <laughs> Joke. That's the other thing, the English sense of humour. So overrated. Oh, well, name me an Italian that's ever made you laugh. Mario Balotelli. Doesn't count. Charlie Caroli. Right, children. Right, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 6 90 please. Oh, your shout. OK, I'll have a Malibu and Coke, large, and a whiskey for Michael. Small. They don't take your rose. Feeling flush, are we? He's been a right sweetheart, giving me the lowdown on what to do and where to go. <laughs> well, when you need a lift back to the airport, I call your man, OK? No rush. I think I'm going to like it round here. Lucky. I've never even met my dad. My mum reckons he was a waste of space, but I just can't help feeling that there's something missing in here. You know, I'm always watching and wondering, could that be him? She be my stepsister. You feel lost. You might need therapy, but Gav's fine, really. Do you always speak for him? That stuff's cute at first. You think they really care, but controlling behaviour's just the start. Mm. They're the insecure ones. They're the ones with the problem. 
The only problem I've got is you and your big gob. Uh, play nice to the girls, please. Sponging drinks. Is it her money? Telling total strangers how to live their lives. Our opinions are legal now in England. When did they bring that law in? Move. I have had enough. No, no. Step, 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 she needs a slap. A friendly face. Go on. Don't you friendly face me, Bethany Platt. What are you doing here? You've been drinking. What is a pub, Gail? She's 14. Not in here, she's not. Get out now. Did you buy that? He did. I thought she was a student. She had a row with a taxi driver. Oh, well, there's a pattern emerging here. Because if you lose me my licence, I'll do more than row with you. I'm sorry, Michelle. We're leaving now. Don't look at me like that. Well, how am I supposed to look at you? You turn up out of the blue, on your own, middle of the term, cause chaos with me neighbours. You got off on the wrong foot. No warning. Not a dicky bird from your mum. It's a surprise. For what? It's not my birthday. It's not your birthday. You're always going on about how much you miss us. Yes, I do. But why now? I just fancied a decent cup of tea. So long as I'm not under her feet, Mum doesn't care where I am. One proper cup of tea. Ooh, Lancashire blend. Brilliant. Bethany, I know that's not true. Screaming's the only way of getting her to notice me. Since Stephen's put that new boss in at the factory. Mm, she did say things were tricky at work. Tricky? Late nights, weekends. She spends more time in the office than the flat. <gasps> yeah, but what a fabulous flat. Four bedrooms, terrace overlooking the square. I like to have my breakfast there. Sat out like Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Not so fabulous when you're the only one in it. When I said I was thinking of visiting, she couldn't get my bags packed fast enough. <sighs> I know it's not been easy for you, both of you. I just thought, I want my nonna. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, darling, this is Oscar, oh, isn't it? Yeah, she's just a kid. Hey, we've got a visitor. Hello, man. Uncle David. Ah, oh, it's Prague. Not brought your mum, have you? We're just the one big happy family. <laughs> mum. You bet your bottom dollar I will. I'm just sorry you've had to cope with all this on your own. No, no, I'm not going to put her on. I want to talk to her first. Busted, big time. All right, love, well, you try and get a good night's sleep, eh? OK. Bye. Think I'm stupid? Don't answer that. Do you think I wouldn't call Sarah and find out what's been going on? Her version of? There's only one version of Expelled. And only one version of stealing money from your mother's credit card to pay for the flight. Bethany Platt, how do you plead? David, you're not helping. Did she notice? Did she help? She thought you are on a school trip to Florence. She's been worried sick. She's been calling every one of your friends. Yeah, and I bet every single one of them dubbed you in. Like you know what a friend was. Michael, put the laptop up. I, I need to see flights to Milan. Can't see a mini break. You do it. You're quicker than me. Breaks my heart, but... OK, fire in a bath. No, you'll stay where you are till this is sorted. Manchester to Milan, Bergamo. Saturday, 13.25. Sunday, 13.25. Monday, 13.25. You get the picture. Book her on the one tomorrow. Well, you'll be wasting your money. I'm not going. I beg your pardon. I'm staying here. <laughs> Kid, it's my house. I say who stays and who goes. Well, I'll sleep on the streets then. Or find some good-looking guy to take pity on me. Where does your Gavin live again? No way. Uh, You'll do as you're told. Grant, you can rant and rail all you like, but you're wasting your breath. There's nothing there for me anymore. I'm not going back to Milan. <laughs> How come there's no milk? I don't know, maybe the cow went on strike. She was in the bathroom last time I heard. You made sure you two were all right, I see. Oh, you mean I had the nerve to use my milk from my fridge at my house for my son? Shame on me. Morning. Are well, you dressed as? Did I know the deceased? Uh, well, I just thought I'd better look smart for the uh, mediation meeting later. Well, I think it's a choice between Callum and the Adams family, won't it? Well, if that's how you feel, uh, maybe I'd better not go. No, well, he's going to have his mum there, so I want mine. Is your mum bigger than his mum? I just think it's important that this family looks united. 
That'd be a first. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Good. We need this mediation to work, right? Because the next step's caught. But no footy in no man's land, all right? I was just being civil to his mother. I mean, she's done nothing wrong. Well, she's aiding and abetting. Can I come? You what? If my dad's going to be there, and my other nana. Uh, no, mate. No, I don't think they'll let kids go anyway, so... You know, I don't get it. Most girls your age are killed to live in Italy. Trust me, it's not all designer jeans and gelato. And the boys aren't always dropped dead either. You just want them to. Yeah, but weather's better though, isn't it? Well, I don't know. Man can be well cold some days. Do you miss the food though? Don't worry, you'll be having it again soon enough. Oh, you really know how to make someone feel at home. Ah, yes, but this isn't your home, is it? Your place is with your mum. Try telling her that. She's always working. It's hard being a single parent. She's just trying to support you. I can support myself. If you let me stay here, I could work at the bistro, bring a touch of class to the place. Let's face it, needs it. I'm sure it'll survive without you. You're getting on that plane on Sunday. Oh, I don't want to go back. Sorry, Sarah's your mum. It's her call. I gotta go. Way off. Uh, I've just got one or two things to do in town. All right, well, that session starts at one, yeah? It better not be late, it'll look really bad. I'll be there on time. And I don't want to come back to a mess later. How'd you put up with her? No wonder she's been through so many husbands. Listen, Gail is like an old pub piano, yeah? You've got to know how to play her, or else she makes a terrible noise. What's that supposed to mean? It means that you've got to butter her up a bit, yeah? Box clever. Otherwise, come this weekend, it'll be a river you. Yeah, but it's not even her house. If you say I Oh, say... listen, I've got far too much aggro going on in my life at the minute to be living in a war zone. So either you sort things out with your nan, or I'll drive you to the airport myself. Hiya. Manchester's great. It's like a uh, Larry Payton brought to life set. Everyone's put on ten stone. I got this well cool top, though. Where'd you get the money? Uncle Nick subbed us a 20. To have a word with Uncle Nick. It may not be the Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel Douay, but the Arndale's all right if you look hard enough. What do you reckon? <sighs> what do you call that? A uh, fashionable gran, like your pipe blazers were last century. You're not going out wearing that. Why not? Just because it shows a bit of individuality. It shows a damn sight more than that. And you two stop rowing. Sorry, Gran. Well, anyway, we'd, uh, we'd best make tracks. So. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, if you're not doing anything else, why don't we all nip over to the Rovers? Yeah, I could murder a pint. No, not me. I've, uh, I've had a bit of a day. Yeah, well, that's why you need a drink. It'll help you unwind. I've said I don't want to go. I'm sorry, Michael. You go. I'm fine. I'm not leaving you here alone. Uh, no, she won't be. I'll stay. We can have a girls' night in. I can get some fashion tips. Oh, thanks, love. You look like you needed it. Mm. I won't argue with that. After a hard day, me and Mum often used to crack open a bottle. She let you drink? Oh, yeah, all the time. Forgotten what it was like to feel good in the morning till I came here. Really? Yeah, but it's like Mum used to say, when in Rome or Milan. Yeah, well, you're not there now. And it's fine. I realise that. Your house, your rules. <laughs> not my house anymore. Yeah, it is. You're the boss around here. Anyone can see that. <laughs> well, somebody's got to keep these blokes in order. <laughs> Not just the blokes. I know I can do stupid things sometimes. I scare myself. My mum lets me get away with murder, really. I'm sure she does her best. She just wants to be a mate. But I need authority. Ground rules, like you've given me. Oh, so you want me to sort you out, do you? Exactly. If I could just stay here a little bit... You must think I was born yesterday. What? You heard. You might be able to run rings round Sarah, but you can think again with me. I brought up David. I know every trick there is in the book and more besides. I was just trying to be nice. Yeah, well, from what I've seen, young lady, you wouldn't know how. I'll give you authority, all right? Get to bed. Now, that's an order. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going. I'm half asleep as it is having to listen to you all night. Oh, and I did have a glass of wine when I was in the kitchen. A big one. A couple of drinks. I'm not hungover. I'm not feeling the after effects. 
I just wanted to let my hair down. I'm so flaming careful the rest of the time. Don't pull that face. What face? Like I'm nagging. I'm not nagging. This is a health warning. Gran's right. You can't take risks. Who rattled your cage? Mind your own business. Sorry, Gran. You're the boss. So, are we done here? As long as you promise not to touch another drop. Why are you so edgy? I just worry. Oh, what is wrong with you? Get upstairs. Get dressed. It's only half eight. Yeah, I'm going to work and you're coming with me. I'm not having you lying around all day. I'm on holiday. Do you get the Twilight Saga over here? I love them. The books and the films, especially Eclipse. Teachers used to call me the vampire. Why? Because nobody ever saw me in the daytime, but at night. Are you serious? I never know whether to believe you or not. I like books. School was just rubbish. Me and a load of other expats. Teachers didn't care whether you were there or not. They expelled you. Stitch up. What? Put it this way, Gran. Don't believe everything my mummy dearest tells you. Well, I certainly don't believe everything you say. Ooh, sitting in a booth drinking latte. It's like being back in Milan. Yeah, you'll be washing up and scrubbing floors, not lazing about. Oh! Oh! My goodness, hello, sweetheart. How is my beautiful little bellatona? Is that right? <laughs> Ciao, Audrey. Oh, Mwah. Mwah. Kisses every time we meet. No, <laughs> what, she doesn't stick her fangs into you. Oh. So, where are you both off to? Well, I'm taking her to work, get her out of the house. I'd sooner help out at the salon. Oh, what? Well. I'd like to be a stylist when I grow up, like Audrey. Please, I'll only be in the way, Uncle Nick's. <sighs> then make sure that they're like that. We've got a new junior stylist. I'm good with hair. Can you do mine like this, Audrey? Yeah? I thought you'd want to go to one of them fancy places in town. Styles like that are timeless. I've got a poster on the wall above my bed of Marilyn Monroe. There are styles like that. Yeah, well, you haven't done much sweeping up yet, have you, lady? Go on. Sorry. Somebody left this behind? Uh, no, it's mine. Anna Karenina? You a big fan of Russian literature? Well, I'm just trying to be a little more cultured. I mean, I've had it we, so I've only got to page four. Well, it's worth sticking at. It's like one of the seminal works of fiction. Seminal? Does that mean that it's got a good plot? Uh, you haven't read it, have you, Bethna? Yeah, I did an essay on it. And I've seen the film, one of the films, with Vivian Lee and Ralph Richardson. Um... Hey, Anna goes back to her husband, but she doesn't really fancy him anymore. And that's the end of part one. Part one? How many parts are there? Eight. It's good, though. I think I'll stick to chiclet. It is chiclet, in a way. Do you know, I must say you're very well read for someone that spent their life bunking off. Not as much as me mum made out. <laughs> School's full of idiots. Well, could you not go to a different one? There aren't many English schools to choose from. No, I suppose not. It's horrible there. I hate it. Oh, sweetheart. The teachers are rubbish. It's miles from where we live. We get picked on. Does your mum know this? Like she cares. She's far too busy to worry about me. No. I never see her. Milan's OK if you're rich, but we're not. Oh, my love. I'm not Italian. I've got no family there. Seven years we've lived there and I still don't feel like I belong. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, Gran. What's for dinner? Pasta. Oh, sorry. Never thought. It's fine. Thought you'd been phoning me, begging me to bring her back. No. She were very good, actually. Good. I know she's a handful, but I'm very pleased she wanted to come and see us. Yes, and I think she'd like to see a lot more of us and all. What do you mean? <sighs> Gail, she's not happy in Milan. She hates it. She wants to stay here. Tough. Is it OK? It's fine. Let's do just in time. OK. We don't know what goes on in Milan, I'll grant you that, but that little girl is not happy. Even if you're right. It's not our decision. She's a teenage girl. They're never happy. Oh, Gail, it goes much deeper than that, I can tell. Sarah chose to move to Italy and bring up Bethany there. That's where they live. Do you want some of this? No, thanks. I had pasta for lunch about 8,000 times. 
Look, the least we can do is talk to Sarah. I did do, today. She wants Bethany home. Fighting a losing battle here, sweetheart. I don't want to go back. I like it here. You're my family. Your flight's booked. You leave on Sunday. Oh, why is everything always my problem? Benny, honey, so it's marmalade. Ugh. I'll just have another cup of tea, thanks. Are you all packed? Kind of. Well, maybe you'd like to help me uh, peel some potatoes for lunch? Nah, you're all right. It's snowing. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's global warming for you. I beat David at football. No, you never. Yeah, I did. Oi, watch it, shrimpy. Would you like me to save you a couple of dinners for when you're back from your day out? I'm going to see my real dad today. You'll be fine. I'm sure. Hey, Maximilian, what's up, kiddo? Eh? I'm going to see my dad today. Yeah, all right, Max, stop banging on about it. Go on, go upstairs and wash your hands. Then we go. Yes. You packed? Flight like doesn't leave till this afternoon. You don't want to miss it, do you? Come on, chop, chop. I don't want to get it at all. It's you lot making me. You best me we've been through all this. You can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I thought my mum was bad, but you lot are even worse. It's like I'm not even part of this family at all. Oh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Do you think it's too early for a glass of wine? The corner shop. Eh, uh, I forgot my phone charger. It's in your carry-on, sweetie. You're getting this flight, whether you like it or not. Hey, Bethany! They so she misses the flight home, Mum. Uh, it should be fine. No, 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 don't call the police. Well, she got all the way from Italy on her own, didn't she? Can I help you with anything in particular, madam? Uh, just having a look round, her. No worries, Bethany. Been a long time. Yeah. And just as I've got back, they're trying to pack me off again. Do me a solid and let me chill here for a bit, yeah? Give us a bit of girl up here. Bit older than you, a denim jacket, pink handbag, pain in the backside. No, sorry, mate. Oi, Nick! Is this what you're looking for? Traitor. These think you were all right. What the hell do you think you're playing at? I'm not going back to Milan. Oh, you miss your plane now. But uh, with any luck, I might just be able to change your ticket. You can drag me to the airport and you can check me in. But I'm telling you, I am not getting on any plane. Don't blame me, Sarah. Bethany deliberately missed that plane. Speak to your mum, will you, Bethany? Got nothing to say to her. Well, I don't know what you think I can do this side of the Atlantic. We're English Channel, whatever. Do you want gravy on your dinner, Max? I want pizza with my dad. Stop being childish. I am a child. Bethany, I'm warning you, if you don't speak to what? your mum... What are you going to do, Uncle Nick? Yeah, Uncle Nick, what are you going to do? Oi! Yes! This goes down the loo in five seconds if you don't speak to your mum. He means it. Dispetosa. Where are you going? To my room. You don't even live here. What did she just say? Sarah! Bethany! That language is unacceptable in this house. What, Italian? <sighs> yeah, Max, what did you say? I want pizza. Sarah, none of this is my fault. I mean, maybe if you kept a better eye on your daughter... Hello? Uh... <sighs> Cheeky mares on the phone. Right, I'm off to work. And just leave her here with me. I try my best. And in the words of your darling granddaughter, see ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. And I mean that. She's taking my sound system. I'm not eating this. Max, you eat your dinner or there's no TV for a week. You're not leaving me with Bride of Chocolate. I have had a guts full today. Is it too much to ask for a nice, peaceful Sunday? Well, in, in this house, yeah, it probably is. Yeah, well, I have had it up to here. 
Where are you going? I'm going to the Rovers. Emily's got that butler's auction thing on. Maybe I can bid for a whole new family. I saw you lot eat for breakfast. They had sesco. Why, what do you lot have? Mm, bread rolls with jam, maybe a cornetto. What, for breakfast? Why not? Wish I'd grown up in early. What? You have an ice cream for your breakfast? No. No, it's like um, a pastry, like you call it a croissant. Oh, a croissant. All right, see, we thought you meant an ice cream. For breakfast? Right then, young lady, if you're stopping another day, you can put a shift in at the bistro, chopping and peeling for the chef. How much would it pay me? It's work experience. What was wrong with the salon? We're rotating you. Aren't you a bit embarrassed being a hairdresser? No. Well, I could understand if you were a barber or gay, but spending all day with old ladies, no wonder Matt's prefers to the bloke. Um, Bethany David, your uncle, to show some respect. He stashed drugs in my dolly when I was little. I can say what I like. I'm off. Hey, where are you going dressed like that? You're peeling potatoes for Nick. Oh, I think she looks lovely. I wanted to make a good impression. On the chef, get back upstairs and take that face paint off. Do you understand nothing? Bethany Platt, get back here. Ciao. Bye, love. Ciao. Oh. Thank you for your support. <sighs> oh, just... Hi, Bethna. That is the last time I am ever working there. You were only peeling spuds. I wasn't allowed to. Health and safety. I was waitressing. You what? Which meant she couldn't skive. Wouldn't have done you any harm, an honest day's work. I'm 14 years old. 14 and three quarters, and you had two V&Os in the Rovers. Yes, to be polite. <sighs> hey, Mum, where's them flowers you got? Pardon? Flowers you bought yourself today, where are they? Oh, uh, well, I got rid of them. They were hopeless. Barely got them through the door, then they wilted and died on me. Hey, sounds like one of your husbands. Oh, David. <laughs> That's the last time I buy flowers from Debs, I tell you. So, uh, Audrey, how are you getting on with your book? What's old Anna Kay up to? Uh, well, with all these interruptions, Michael, it's very difficult to tell. <laughs> Right, that's just the potatoes to peel. You can give me a hand, Bethany, seeing as you didn't peel any this afternoon. I don't believe it. Look, is it? What's up with her? Right, where is she? Oh. Sarah Hi, sweetheart. How dare you? Manage to peel yourself away from Roberto, then? You're 14 years old. 14 and three quarters. You're supposed to be in Florence. Florence Weatherfield, what's the difference? You've run from me! I carving knives. They've expelled you! Uh, Michael, this is my daughter, Sarah Lou. Oh, Mum, how many times do we have to go through this? It's Sarah! You stupid little cow. I thought it was pretty clever. Being expelled for shoplifting! Only some makeup. Fuss about nothing. Oh, you've lied. You stole your rock. You shouldn't keep cashing that pot, then it's so obvious. You're not even sorry! Why should I be? Let's go upstairs, will you, yeah. love? Yeah, go on, lad. Do you know oh. I'm in the middle of a new launch? I've had to drop everything to come oh, here. Right, they're gonna miss you. You knew how important it was! Oh, let me get out of the world's smallest violin. Oh, you little... You wait till we get back. I'm not going back. Oh, yes, we are, because there's a flight this You evening. come near me and I'll... Oh, what? Have you run out of smart responses? Oh! 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 Stop! Oh! Squaldrina! Back at you. David, do something. No way, it's way too entertaining. I'll run away again. You do, and I'll pack you off to boarding school. Good, away from you and your idiot boyfriend. Now stop this, the pair of you. We're going to sit down and talk about this like grown-ups. Yeah, girl. Oh, <laughs> do you know, I honestly thought this family couldn't shock me anymore. Oh. There are a few issues to be sorted here. Her issues, not mine. Sarah, you are the grown-up here. <laughs> Yeah, right. And you, young lady, are in no position to argue. You're lucky we hadn't shot you to the police. I prefer prison to living with you. Food would be better and all. Have you seen what I've got to deal with? Oh, sweetheart, how did it get so acrimonious? Oh, since she turned into a nightmare. She's like this all the time. I'm not kidding. And how would you know? You're never even home. That's not true. Roberto cares more about me, and I've only met him twice. Seems you brought her up a treat. Yeah, and how's Max, David? Have you lost him to his real dad yet? Now, can we stop all this fighting, please? Oh, and you must be Michael, the burglar. Sarah! Failed burglar. Pleased to meet you. 
Oh, it's just all gone so wrong, Mum. You all right, love? Leave me alone. But Be Bethany? I didn't even recognise you then. It's Jason. Jason? Oh, Jason. Yeah, you were about this high when I last saw you. How's your mum? Hey, come on, what's happened? I hate my life. Oh. I mean, it was only lipstick. Not like I had nicks my expensive. But the school went mental, because it is mental. I'm telling you, they fine you for not wearing a tie. Do sound a bit strict. It's a nightmare. I'm so glad I'm out of it. What does your mum say about it? She doesn't care about me. I'm surprised she even noticed I'd gone. I thought you two were dead close. Used to be. Until she turned into a works on me and started dating with Roberto. Uh, is that Italian for Robert? I mean, he's all right, but Pasta's got more personality. My mum's never gone for brains in a bloke. Apart from you, of course. Told me she was back. She can bog right off. Stay there, or I really will call the police. Maybe you should stay. Hi. What's she been telling you? Let me guess, is it something along the lines of, oh, my life is so tough, I hate my school, my mum, she's never there for me, and her boyfriend's an idiot? Yeah. <laughs> Don't believe a word of it. Hi, by the way. It's all true. Look, I think you two have got a lot to talk about, so... Bethany, it was nice to see you again. And you, Sarah. He's all right. Look, we need to talk. If you've come to have another go at me... No! No shouting. I promise. Why did you do it, Bethany? Do you really hate me that much? How I felt awful when the teacher told me what had happened. I felt like the worst mum in the world. I stole some makeup. I'm hardly a crack addict. But you lied to me. I thought we told each other everything. You used to have such a laugh. You're the one that changed. But that's not true. Since that new boss started, all you do is work. Doing it for both of us. You keep saying that, but what do I get out of it? <sighs> Clothes, a nice flat, good school. I hate that school. I hate the flat. The clothes were all right, and that's it. Are you really that unhappy? Why didn't you tell me? You never asked. I'm sorry. Please don't make me go back to Italy, Mum. Look, we'll talk about it, OK? Just not now. I've barely sat down in 24 hours and these shoes are not good for travelling in. Why didn't you wear your pony skins? Well, I didn't think we'd go with this. Well, they would have done if you'd have worn your black one. Oh, look at you! Still my number one wardrobe advisor. Come on, we'd best be getting back. Gran's making bangers a mash. Ugh, I want chips. The chips here are so much better than in Milan. We cannot get chips, she'll kill us. Don't be a chicken. I'm not chicken. Chicken. Fine, we'll get chips then. <laughs> I told you to, I was doing bangers and mash. I forgot. I think I preferred it when you were arguing. Oh, don't say that for him's sake. I know we went a bit overboard. Oh, overboard isn't the word. Honestly, you two make kind. It seemed quite demure. Hey. I'll replace the ornament. It was a present from me. You won't find another. Did you nick it from someone's house? <laughs> Bethany! Well, they throw things all the time in Italy. Do they? Oh, women are the worst. Remember when you chucked that lasagna over on Chris <laughs> Stevens' head? <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't open his eyes for a day. Do you know, I'm really pleased to see you smiling, but I don't think the context is quite appropriate. So, what's the gossip round here, then? Apart from my brother's typically messed up life. Oh, yeah, because yours is going so well. Oh, Roy's doing well, considering he's got an allotment. 
I must go see him while I'm here. Yeah, you must go too, Bethany, because Hayley was your godmother. So? Well, I didn't know her. Uh, Bethany, she sent you money every Christmas and every birthday. Only a tenner. We'll go see him while we're here. How long are you stopping for? And um, we'll... Ooh, you'll stay for a couple of days, won't you? Yeah. Well, there's a nice B&B on Tile Street. Well, we can stay here, can't we? Yes, David will give you his room, won't you? Will he? Why can't they stay with Gran? Well, actually, uh, I've got boiler trouble. Otherwise, I'd love it. Oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> Is it true you could drop down dead at any moment? Oh, Bethany! Technically, yes. Hopefully, no. I saw someone die in the street once. Oh. He just collapsed. Uh, and actually, uh... listen, we don't really need to know that, sweetheart. I thought you said you'd thrown them flowers in the bin. I did. Well, they're not here. I meant a bin on the street while I was still out. Do you know, they, they wilted that fast, they barely lasted half an hour. Well, you should complain to Dad. No, don't be Dad. Gail, it's shoddy. Well, Ma'am, it's a bunch of flowers. Can we just forget it? Doing? Bethany? Can't you take a joke? I sleep on the sofa in my house so you can have a bed and then you go and do this. I thought you had to be up for work. It's not funny. <sighs> All right, I've got it. Uh, have you, though? A pair of you? Don't look at me. You're a mother. I didn't tell her to do it. No, but you're who she gets it off, aren't you? I bet it's in the jeans. All this fuss over a few drops of water. So do you two go back to Italy, yeah, the better. Oh, don't worry. We're not staying any longer than we need to. Good. I can't behave like that when you're a guest. And I can't carry on saying sorry. Yeah, but when are you going to learn? Is it any wonder he wants us out? Can we go shopping? Oh, yeah. Reward bad behaviour. Let's do it. Yeah, it'll keep me out of trouble. We don't have to buy anything. We can just have a look around the shops. This afternoon, maybe? I'll see. All right, I'm going. Is it too much to ask you to lock up if you go out? Do you have to be so unpleasant? If it helps get rid of you, yeah. What do you want? Bought this for Max. I did promise to him, and I'm a man of my word, so... Is that it? Do you want to pick him up from school this afternoon? No, I don't. All right? Sorry, are you talking to me? I'm just talking to both of you. <laughs> You're not going to introduce me? No. I do one. Is that Max's dad? How would you guess? He is fit. Exactly the Montenapo, is it? You mean that street in Milan where we can't afford to buy anything? That's nice. You're not still in a mood. Don't tell me you didn't find it funny when I was splashing water on him. Look, I thought we'd come to an agreement. We would both try harder. Yeah, and I will. Still doesn't solve the Milan problem, though, does it? Well, I was thinking we could find you a school where you're happier. And I'm going to work fewer hours so that we can see each other more. To argue, we're going back whether you like it or not. Hmm. Uh, we met this morning. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Ooh, don't need to be like that. Like what? Normal? How do you know David? Oh, are you still here? What are you? His mate? Family? An old squeeze? Oh, please. You must be joking. He's my uncle. Ah. Well, he was only going to find out. So you're his sister and her mum? <sighs> Look, I know who you are. So just jog on, all right? Well, this just got interesting. Really interesting. Oh, yes, please. Mm. Well, you've had all you're getting today, madam. Oh, and you can have something else. This is for work. Oh, yeah, right. It is. I need to look good in the office. Can't wear the same things every day. Well, I need to look good at school. Oh, this will go with loads of my things. 
Right, I'm having it. Then, I think we'd better be getting back. Yeah, to David and Gran, that'll be nice. Well, if you would behave yourself... Oh, yeah, cos everything's always my fault. Uh, it wasn't me who got expelled. La, 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 la. I'm off to have another quick look over there. Right, well, I'll be outside. Just this, you're Yeah, Small world! Name's Callum, by the way. Although you probably know that, David's told you all about me. What's your name? And why have I never seen you before? Oi, what's he told you about me? Pack of lies knowing him. Look right, either you go or... Ooh. Oh, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Stop her! She's a thief! Oh, uh, put on it. Stop that girl, someone! Get in. Amazing with that. Well, Bethany, we nearly ended up in jail. Jail? Did you actually just use the word jail? She's been playing too much of that. What's that board game called where they send you to jail? I know loads of games where you can end up in jail. <laughs> it's Monopoly. Ah, so that's what you do with yourself in the evening. Play board games. Oh, yeah, I'm never off that kaplunk. <laughs> She's out more than me, this one. Not exactly mother of the year. Shut up, Beth. Just get inside. Thanks for the lift, mate. I owe you one. Uh, he's not your mate, and no, you don't. Can we just leave us alone? What, after that performance today? She's been shoplifting. Uh, proof? There is none. Oh, do you want a slap? Hey, dear. Go on, then. I'll call social services. I'd like to see you try. Why? What do you mean, why? If she hits me, I've got rights. The customer's always right, and the child is oh, always finally. right. finally! You admit you're a child. And no, the customer isn't right when they're nicking the latest fashion. Ugh, call that fashion. Why were you with him? What? Go on, I'm waiting. Why are you doing that creepy voice? Oh, I forgot it's your normal one. It's trouble. You said. Can I have a minute with your mother on her own, please, Bethany? You do not have to do anything he says. With a pleasure. <laughs> Right. Billy, no mates. Yeah, well, that's your mum, but uh, well, she was with that Callum man. She's only doing it to get a reaction. You from? You. I must know she's still got feelings for you. I'll get a Donica back, please. Well, chilli sauce, me. I got it in my eye once. I'd gone blind. The pain, the pain was unbelievable. It was worse than when I stood in that nail once. I know you're just trying to change the subject. I'm not lying, you know. My mum's mad for you. No way. Many would have thought she was uh, seeing that Roberto fella. Mm, he's just a distraction. It's you she's into. You know what, flat in Milan? Yeah. She has this, like, well, it's not a shrine exactly, but it's like this table devoted to you. There's a pictures of you on it, a t shirt she nicked off you years ago, a lock of your hair. Sorry if that freaked you out. I know my mum comes across all gobby and everything, but deep down, she's... Look, if this is boring you, I'll just shut up about it. So... So? Did you kiss him or what? Keep that out. You did? You kissed him? I don't blame you, though. He's fit. So you're back, then? State the obvious. What do you think you're playing at? Hey, Mum, is Callum going to be my new daddy? You do realise he's only using you to get to me, don't you? Oh, yeah, cos everything is always about you. You're not seeing him again, are you? It's none of your business. Yeah, well, you better not, or else. <laughs> or else what? Have you not learned anything? Don't tell me what to do, I'll just do the opposite. You're pathetic, you know? Shut up, David, when's your neck in? So come on then, put me out of my misery when you're off back to Milan. Sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. I've got a fantastic life. Top job, amazing flat. Yeah, well, don't let me keep you. Stop it! 
What? Oh, you're so annoying. I wonder where she gets that from. Oh, let's go to town. Look, I know life is one big holiday for you, but I have to work. I bet you're glad we should have to hang out with me. It's only me. Hi. Come on, Graham. Hi, Lord. I thought you'd be out and about, you. Mm, I wish. <sighs> Uncle Stephen wants me to do this work, and he wants it straight away. Mm, it's tough at top. Well, why don't you come and help out in the salon again? We're doing a stock take. Mm. Not sure I can handle the excitement. Now then, madam, life is not all bells and whistles, you know. Anyway, it'll get you out from under your mum's feet for a while. Oh, thanks, Granny, you one. Stay out of trouble, you. Don't I always? She has got no idea what's coming to her. Oh, well, she'll find out soon enough. I didn't know the meaning of the word tired to her, were you? I hope you're listening to this lady. Mm? Keep your hand on your hate, Nick. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> How long have you worked here, then? Oh, forever and a day, eh? I've lost count. Have you ever burnt a hole in someone's head or cut an ear off? <laughs> Bethany, you're so bloodthirsty. I once dyed Vera Duck with hair purple, didn't I? Do you remember? <laughs> she weren't laughing, though. Oh, and I got a spiky roller stuck. I mean, that was a right trauma. Yeah. Had to cut it out in the end. Luckily, it was in the back of the lady's hair, not the front, but I've had a healthy respect for spiky rollers ever since. <laughs> I'd love to work here. Oh, sweetheart. There's more to working in the hairdressers than just standing around gassing, you know. I know. It'd be good to work with family, that's all I'm saying. Well, your mum worked here. Do you know, I thought she had the makings of a really good stylist. I wish she'd stayed. Bethany, sweetheart. You can't wish your life away. She's doing her best. I suppose. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm parched. Do you fancy a brew? Go on, then. Yeah, you put the kettle on. Now, you nip over to the cabin and get us some sweets. OK. <laughs> oh, so lovely to have you back. Wish you were staying. That's the plan. Hiya, you all right? All right. Good, yeah. Shame I can't say the same about my mum. Well, what's up with her? Like you even have to ask. She's just walking around like a lovesick puppy. Look, if you don't want to be with her, then you're going to have to tell her. <sighs> Look, I'll have a talk to her, OK? Mm. Well, whatever you do, just please let her down gently. <sighs> She's a woman on the edge. Yeah. Right, uh, a ferret on a bicycle. That'll have to do, OK? Oh, thanks. Oh, that's one twenty-five. Uh, here you go. Do you want a bag, love? No, you are, love. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Bye. See you later. See ya. This is a wind-up, yeah? Why? Why not? <laughs> you have put far too much mazzy on. I'm going for the smoky eye look. More like a black eye. Max, get the door. Hey, don't speak to him like that. Uh, it's only how you used to speak to her when she was little. It's all right, I'll get it. See, you've got to be firm with blokes and then they're like putty in your hands. You are too much. Hiya. Well, I'll just speak the Hiya. truth, which is a foreign language to you. I was in the area, thought I'd... Uh... Have you got the present? Oh, we haven't, you cheeky monkey. Uh, Bethany, can you take Max upstairs for a sec? But my dad's here. Come on, Max, don't argue with us. But... So right, I'll get you a present next time. Bet you will. Something knock off from the market. Uh, that is so not my style. Max. Come on. Hiya. Hiya. <clears throat> I brought Jason back. Hiya. Hi. You all right? What are you watching? I'm just some rubbish. Why is it in Hollywood films that no matter how ugly the guy is, he always gets a hot girl? Well, it gives uh, lads like David hope, I guess. Ah, uh, you wish, mate. There you go, babe. Nice and cold. It's not work, that. Shit. <sighs> mm. Ooh, you smell really nice, all musky. It's always funny. I don't think I've got anything on. Um, what are you doing? Well, I didn't see this one coming. Well, we've been talking and... What? We've decided we're going to give it another go. Really? That's hilarious. So, we're actually staying? Well, do you want to tell her? No, you tell her. <laughs> you tell her. No, you tell her. Mother! Oh, are you two stop it, <laughs> knocking me sick? <laughs> I'm coming back to Italy with you. 
So, thank you for having a word, you little matchmaker. Hey, it's quite... You're joking. You didn't. <laughs> Could use a hand here. Uh, hmm. No, that's just my uncle. No, no, not that one. He's cool. He's the other one. So, what's it like living in Rome? Rome? Never said you were ringing Rome. Get off the phone now. Yeah, I know. My mum reckons he's got anger issues. Get off the phone. Use your own. It's got no charge. We'll plug it in. Oh, what's going on? Sorry, Kaz. Just be glad your relatives are dead. Ciao, Kaz. That is so rude. Tell him, Audrey. Oh, Bethany. I do wish you wouldn't call me Audrey. Yeah, and anyway, I didn't think you had any friends. Duh, in Milan. She lives in Rome. Oh, Lily. Oh, that is gross. Take her away now. I'm going to be late now, aren't I? It's all right. You haven't got anyone till 11. Oh. This place is a madhouse. All right, so where are all the other inmates? Gail's at the register office with Michael booking the wedding again. Oh, how exciting. And my mum has gone shopping. You see, now you call Sarah mum. Yeah, only because it annoys her. Oh, listen, I just want to ask you a favour. Can you help me out some more with this uh, Anna Karenina? Can't you just get some notes? Notes? Study notes. They sell them in bookshops. Really? Oh, sweetheart, thank you. Yes, well, I'll get them. See you, Ward. Uh, no. Order is one thing. Ord, quite another. Right. Fair yeah. Hiya, Kaz. So, where were we? Right, I want it short on one side, long on the other, with a purple streak. How about no? Why not? It's my hair. No, because your mum will kill me. You can have a dry cut, all right, since you're not even paying for it. I'll tell you. If Sarah don't book them flights, I will, and I'll drive them to the airport to make sure they get on the plane. Mm? What are you reading? Nothing. Oh, David. Anna Kernina. Study notes. Bit old for studying, aren't you? You're never too old for anything. I don't know. Scaling Mount Everest? Well... White water oh, rafting? come on, let yeah? me get yeah? on with it, David, you <laughs> silly boy. All right, Ken. Hi. Um... Audrey, oh, man. Yeah, she's here. Gran. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, just on my way to the Rovers for this proper lunch and uh, wondered if you'd go to join me. Oh, well. You might as well. I've not got anything booked in here for an hour. Yes. Well, yeah, OK, that would be lovely. <laughs> Bye. Bye, I have fun. Are those two up to something? Please, that belongs to me, white water rafting. I'm sure Jason wants to come to Italy. Apparently, he's always wanted to live there. Amazing, eh? Amazing. Maybe you're rushing things. No way. Second I saw him again, I thought, you are the one. All right. <laughs> what would uh, Jason think if he knew you were eyeing up with the blokes? No. I did not do that. <clears throat> Hot kettle. <laughs> People call you Dan for short. Nope. Bethany, just leave him alone now. What? I'm only making conversation. Just ignore my daughter. She's only 14. She's got a degree in being annoying. Mum? You're making a fool of yourself. I'm like, you're not. I have a good mind to tell Jason. Go for it. Don't dare me. I dare you. He'll go mental. He might if we were actually together. You lied to me. Serves you right for stirring. Oh, you're so immature, Mum. No, no, you started it. Ooh, that'll ruin your dinner. What would Mother say? She'd say, get a mega bar of chocolate and all, Bethany. Oh, would she now? Yes, then she can start on about how we need to go to the gym to burn it off, where she can help the fit blokes. Just count as a mega bar. Maybe I should get one for your Mum, too. No need. I'll make sure she eats tons at this dinner at Uncle Nick's place tonight. Then we're bound to be in the gym tomorrow. What time are you working out? Hmm, that's subtle. You can pay for this as well if you want. Cheaper than the price of two bars of chockey. See you at the gym tomorrow. Oh, and sleeveless. 
Mama has a thing for arms. <laughs> she ain't retiring that one, ain't she? You know, I always feel like I need to do a stock take when she's been. Mm. He's counting number seven. Oh, no way. Come on, the county. Is that that football? You didn't even know he wore this morning. Stop showing off. Don't be mean, David. Have you ever wondered if Callum isn't as bad as you think and you're just paranoid? You're so fancy. Mum, have a word with your daughter before I stick a fork in her. Another, or could it end in a food fight? Look, we've not come here to listen to sniping and arguing. We can do that at home. We've come to have a nice time. So, yes, please. Steph, another bottle. You need to think of this as a practice one for our big day. See how a little light bickering doesn't have to derail anything. A few more evenings like this, and you'll feel none of that stress. This is as bad as it gets. I don't understand why it can't wait. Well, the route is down, Stephen. What can I do? What music? Oh, um, yeah, well, I just listen to music sometimes when I'm working. I told her not to take that call. What is his problem? Hi, Dad. Can you get me any more autographs? Well, your mate's impressed, yeah. Can you? Not tonight, mate. I've just come to speak to David. Came to apologise. Shouldn't have just turned up like that this morning. I'll stick to the rules, text to make arrangements. No hard feelings. Just do it, all right? I think that's your apology accepted. Good. See you later, mate. Fine, OK, I'll get it sent somehow. No, I, um, it isn't finished. I couldn't, uh, download the images off the internet. OK. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go and send that document. Where it's gone down, has it? You've ordered food. Yeah, well, blame Uncle Stephen. <sighs> she is such a drama queen. I don't always take her side. I just wanted us all to be together. Don't worry about Mum. She's probably just making the most of the empty house. What's that supposed to mean? Dancing around naked to David Getter? Mm, used to be Westlife. Don't know what's worse. No hot brunette tonight. OK, uh, sauces? I still think you should be eating with us. Uh, th this meat's a little bit under for me. OK, never serve your stuff, is it? So who's this hot brunette, then? Mine's perfect. I might just go and put it back on the heat. A family meal means no disappearing into the kitchen. It looks fine to me, you know, I'll do it. It's on family meal with Sarah flouncing off. Goodness knows when we'll get to do it again. I mean, you'll understand when you've got kids. Do you, the best thing about having kids would be never having to hear that again. Mum's right. We have to make the most of these times. <clears throat> hey, Max, you're, you're looking sharp. New hoodie. Callum bought it, me. Yeah, cheers, Paul. Nice one. How was he supposed to know? David doesn't like it, do you? That's because David dresses like he's doing it for charity. Um, can we be kind, please? Mm, chill out, Gran. You've got what you wanted. A nice family meal. Grumpy, happy and randy. Eat your pasta. you miss all this when you're back in Italy, won't you? What time's your uh, flight tomorrow? Tomorrow? No, we're not. Gran. Well done, you. I don't want pudding, I want the truth. So, I'm out. Where are you going? You have to see that brunette, whoever she is. I can see you before you're uh... I'm going too. She's not getting away with this. Sit down. <laughs> Bye there. Good luck to her, whoever she is. So, your precious meal was my last flipping supper? Come on, it's not your grand's fault. She'd love you to stay. Why am I always in the wrong, eh? Bethany, I will miss you very much, but I am not your mother. You're right. So, let me go and find her. Sit down. Handcuff me, drug me, kidnap me. I am not going back to Milan. How could you be so stupid? Gail, look, I'm really sorry. I need a drink. No, you're not the only one. Yeah, well, we may as well all go, seeing as how Sarah's ruined the meal twice. Yes, Uncle David. Let's go home. Come on. I thought we were having pudding. Well, there's ice cream in the freezer. So we might as well all go home. Oh, talk to the elbow, G. At least it's got a point. Wait till I get home. She is not going to know what's hit her. Not you. Sit down. 
It's not like I'm two years old. I'm a young, independent woman with a mind of my own. I'm never having kids. And if I do, I'll treat them with respect and not be a totally self-obsessed, selfish cow. You don't want me to go back, do you, Maxie? Yeah, you didn't want the ants to leave either when you had a huge ant in the kitchen. A bag's here. Well, have you tried ringing her? Can I have some ice cream now? Yeah, you can. I'll get it, though, because you'll end up eating out of it straight from the tub. You need to talk about your idea of a good hiding place. Hiding? Why would I be hiding? So you didn't just hear Bethany shouting, Mum, 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 top of her voice. What are you lurking out here for? Too ashamed of what you've done? Did I hear something about ice cream? Why don't you sit down? I'll, uh, I'll bring it in. Oh, can everyone stop banging on about ice cream whilst my life disappears down the toilet? Why is the door open? I was just putting the uh, bins out. Oh, ice cream, bins, anything's more important than me. Well, you know what, Mother? I'm not going. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You knew we'd be going back sooner or later. You're a liar. You're selfish. You're the worst parent ever. And I hate you. Anything else? Yes. Your split ends need seeing too. I'll barricade myself in the bathroom if I have to. I brought sweets. But before you go ape, can I go put my bulletproof vest on? Right, who wants a drink and then we can talk calmly about tomorrow? No need. Look, I'm nearly done. Just like that. Is this a practical joke? Don't look at me. I had to think, and it's not just about me, is it? We're a team. Always have been. Go on. You've given up a lot for me, Mum, and I wanted to do something for you. Maybe it's time we do go back. It's a quick turnaround. I'm trying to be mature. Thank you. Right, I suppose I better get packing then. Does this mean I don't have to watch the Kardashians ever again? Still, at least Max learned how to swear in Italian. Oh, you'll miss us when we're gone. Mm. Oh, um, I forgot to say, Stephen rang you a few times while you were out. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. Right, Bethany, upstairs, quick. Go and get the laptop for me. Please, go, go, go. <sighs> Ugh, did he leave any messages? Oh, I didn't answer it. You speak to him. Yeah, hello, it's David. David, your nephew. Yeah, the one after Nikki, yeah, yeah. Um, Sarah. She's, um, putting Max to bed. Um, so how's work? Back oh, yeah. Yeah, hairdressing can be like that, too. Listen, uh, do you, do you want to speak to Bethany? Yeah, all right, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Uncle Stephen. Okay. What are you doing? Hello? Oh, no, just give... Yes, I, I did try to send you the report. I tried to send it a couple of hours ago, but there's been a weather problem. The internet's been down all night. What? No, I don't understand that either. No, look, it, it was a little tiny white lie. I have got it, though, right in front of me here. I can do it now. It will take me two hours, Max. Stephen, you can't do that, please. Stephen! What? Why did you email Uncle Stephen tonight? Just to say hi. Oh, and not to say that I was lying about the broken internet. Yeah, well, your plan worked. What plan? You know what? Then we wouldn't even make it to the airport. Why not? Because thanks to my sweet, loving daughter, I've been fired. That's why. You must be able to find another job over there. Yeah, not that come with a free apartment. So we're definitely not going back. How can we? Yes. It's your fault we're in this mess. Not what I call it. Do you realise how serious this is? Oh, you can get a job here. Oh, just like that? Something will turn up. Does that mean you're staying here? Max, what do you want on this toast? Jan, please. I have to find you a school. I'll just go to the nearest one. They have to take you, don't they? It's more complicated than that. Mm, I don't see why. They're all the same. They teach you nothing. Mum, could you have a word with him? Oh, Stephen. 
I just, I don't see it working, us living back here. Mum? Haven't you already burnt your bridges on that one? Please. <sighs> but what do I say? <sighs> just, I'm really sorry. Haven't you already said that? Yeah, but it would sound so much better coming from you if you could just ask him for one last chance to say I'll never let him down again. And then we can all live happily ever after. Bethany! Might be worth a try. See what I can do. Thank you, Mum. I don't get the whole planning of the day. What? <sighs> Mum spoke to Stephen. Yeah. He won't budge. Smile, you got your way. Sorry, it's not what you want. Yeah, sure. Oh, well. At least one of us is happy. You hated it there, so... Nothing more to be done now. What are you watching? Some dumb reality show. I was eating that. I'm eating it now. <laughs> Mum? That's my popcorn! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Bethany spilled popcorn. You lie. up. Pick it up yourself. This place is a tip. What's for tea? Whatever you're making. Right. So I've been at work all day while you two have been here and neither of you been at shops. Oh, chill out, David. You're worse than mum. Chill out. Give you chill out. Give me that. Hey, I was watching that. Yeah, well, now you're not. You can tidy up first. It's like a DOS house in here. There are more important things to worry about. Like what? Mum spoke to Uncle Stephen. And? He won't have me back. So, he's stuck with us. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Where else are we gonna go? Well, I don't know. You're not staying here. I've had enough of being walked all over. You can look for somewhere else to live. Oh, well, give us a chance. What right here. Flats are for rent near the back. Start looking. Have you had my conditioner? Your conditioner? Yes, my conditioner. You know which is mine. I know which one is mine. You bought it for me. You can't buy me presents, then take them back. You're supposed to be my mother. What are you going to wear? I don't know. Uh, the blue dress? It's a wedding. I know. We need to go shopping. I've got no money. And anyway, I've not forgotten your last little shopping adventure. Maybe we could get Gail to stump up for some new dresses. One, you do not call her Gail. And two, that's actually not a bad idea. Do you want cake? Uh, yeah, with icing and a cherry. Good. So we're going shopping? Sorry, it's called Trump shopping. Well, I thought I'd be going in September. Well, if you're looking for a good school, Rosie had a marvellous time at Oak Hill. I mean, it's private, but the facilities are excellent, and they do a regular European exchange and a ski trip. <laughs> Don't even think about it. You are going wedding high. Come on. Oh, where's your David? I've been phoning him all morning. How should I know? I'm not his keeper. Well, I've got a client due in at half past who's asked for him specifically, and I'm on my own in there. Ah, uh, well, good luck with that one. Come on. She's sulking. Don't think she fancies a couple of years at Weatherfield High. <laughs> I've got all that to come. <laughs> Everything all right for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Just need a bit of a lift. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to do mine as well, yeah? Uh, yeah, maybe, if I get her at eight. On mine? Better make it seven. Yeah. Mum, you do realise all our best clothes are still in Italy? Yeah, maybe if we hit the shops early. Mmm, you just hold on to that thought. Oh, oh, where are they? David and Gavin? Maybe they got a better offer. Why are you missing them? No, I'm starving. Have a breadstick? Oh, I don't want a breadstick. Uh, I don't think so. Why not? Because you're 14. I thought you let her drink wine in my van. Who told you that? Well, she did. Did she? Some party this is. Can't eat the food, can't have a drink. No, that must be them now. Uh, or with any luck, somebody interesting at least. Gran, the stripper's here. <laughs> Very funny. Is Maria about? I'm afraid so, yeah. Oi! I heard that, Cheeky. Thanks for coming. So, uh, how long have you two been seeing each other then? Not long now. A couple of months. Yeah. And it's going all right? Yeah, I think so. Still together, aren't we? So, the age difference doesn't bother you then? Be All right, thank you, Bethany. It's not that big a difference. Anyway, I happen to like a woman who knows who she is, who's had a bit of experience. Mm. Oh, yes. Well, you've definitely landed on your feet with her, then. So, how can we move back here, then? Well, it's, um, 
It's a bit of a sore point. Yeah, like her, her ex-boyfriend and her weight. Would anybody like another drink? I'd love one. And how about you? Would you like maybe some uh, fruit juice or some fizzy water? Or how about a nice little glass of warm milk? Hmm. Yeah. It's a shame, isn't it? You can't have a proper drink. You know, like the grown-ups. Mm, I'm not bothered, really. Besides, I'd rather be too young than um, past it. I'm not past it. Didn't say you were. Although, I was wondering, what's it like? What's what like? The menopause. How have you still got all your own teeth? All right, I was only asking. Talk about touching. Friends, then? No, nothing to write home about. Mm. How come? I'll give you a clue. It begins with B. They don't like the British? Nope. Don't because you're blonde. The police. That you're bolshiness. <laughs> oh, well, you can be difficult sometimes. <laughs> She's talking about me. She reckons I put them off. She's like a giant cold sore. I did you a favour more like. Honestly, she's like a loser magnet. Listen. Well done. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, be careful. I was born careful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go on, your turn, Sarah. Ooh. Ooh, don't blow it. <laughs> you all right? Not having second thoughts about tomorrow, are you? Don't be doubt. One of the few things I am certain about at the moment. <laughs> See that? That's what you've done to my life. <laughs> well, have you had my new bra? No. Well, where is it then? Who am I? The bra police. Jungle Red, what do you think? Uh, it's a bit slut baggy for a wedding. Oh, cheers. Right, that's you done. Um, no, this side needs a few more curls. It's fine. Oh, it's not high enough. Ladies and, well, ladies, can I introduce to you Paige Boy Max? Oh, don't you look handsome? Not mm. bad, short stuff. Yeah. Mum, what are you doing? Uh, little washing needed bringing in. Well, don't you think you need to, like, get your hair done or not? Oh, I'll let the girls get done first. Right, Bethany, come on, move. Maria needs to do me now. I'm not finished yet. All right, so on your wedding day, you're doing the housework while these two just tart themselves up. I wish my mum was here. She always knows how to make me feel better. Well, I'll be grand for you today, if you like, shall I? Right then, girl, love it. Listen, now, it's your special day, so I don't want you worrying about anything else except you, OK? Bethany, sweetheart, come on. I think you're done, actually. No, I'm not. Yes, yeah, come on. <laughs> That's child abuse, that is. Not yet, it isn't. Girl, sit down, honestly. I'm next. Well, there's a change of plans, Sarah, all right? And now you two can do the washing. Most of it's yours and Bethany's. Anyway, Gail, I won't tell you again. Oh. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go with my hair looking like this. Well, you'll have to put a beanie on, won't you? Because it's the bride's special day, not yours. Maria, it's her turn. All right, you're the boss. I came to see if I could lend a hand. Looks like you've got everything under control. <laughs> um, Sarah, could you open this? Oh, I've just done my nails. How's Michael? Um, well, he's nervous, you know, but Gavin's with him. It's funny, isn't it, how life works out? Yeah, you pick a bloke out of a police lineup, and then 12 months later, they're walking you down the aisle. Classic boy meets girl. It wasn't a lineup. It was an album of photos. Much more romantic. This thing stuck fast. Give it here, amateur. Go and get some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> How much eyeshadow are you putting on? Oh, pipe down. I'm going for a smoky look. It's very on trend. Uh, smoky's fine. I just don't want to look like I've gone six rounds with them. Um... Try to look a boxer. Moments passed. You look great for an old chick. Oh, yeah. Cars are here. Are you ready, Maxie? I was born ready. Right, come on, Max, you can sit next to me. You look very handsome. All right, you two, come on, save it till you're married. Yeah, put a blanket ban on OAP PDAs. Surely I can have one glass of champagne. It's not champagne, it's Carver. Oh, Carver, then. Right, listen, you can have one, and that is your lot. One means one, remember? <laughs> I said one. I'm nipping out, so uh, behave yourself, won't be long. Where are you going? None of your business. Don't do anything stupid, I won't be long. Oh, for good. 
How many you had? Only a couple. I thought we said one. Where's your mum? I have no idea. Mum, are you under there? <laughs> she really did pass on the trouble gene to you, didn't she? Oh, don't be like that, Uncle Nicky. Let's dance. I haven't got my dancing shoes on. Mmm, spoil sport. If the police come in now, I'm going to lose my licence. Well, why would the police walk in? Has Michael been doing more burglaries again? <laughs> oh, sorry, thanks. <laughs> what are you doing? Maria, please. How many times, Luke? I've told you it's over. I've got something to tell you. It's important. Home now. So how many have you really had? I only had a couple. Chill out, people. You're 14 and you've just destroyed my wedding cake. Well, it's not that big a deal. It is a big deal. It's a very big deal. Calm down. Ruth. I will not calm down. Where is Sarah, anyway? I have no idea, but you're coming home with me. No, no, I'll take her. It's your wedding. It's fine. Go on, young lady. Oh. Looks like me and you are tidy, aren't we? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. What? There's no way that skirt was so short when I bought it. Haven't I? Shut up. Oh, you can't get anything past me because I was your age once, you know. <laughs> yeah, and look what happened to you, Bram. <gasps> <gasps> oh, you're so cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, OK, OK, wrestling at this time in the morning. Good job I'm here to sort you two out. Oh, we don't need sorting out, thanks very much. Mm, our dear mother begs to differ. Typical Gran. What are you doing in my handbag? OK, right, I'm under strict instructions. Get you to school and give you a kick at the backside. You need to get a job. I don't need telling. Yeah, she's managed without your help for the past 14 years. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to get you to Roy's, give you a decent breakfast. Thanks, Uncle Nicky. Then school, then you job hunting. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Lippy off. I'm making a statement. Yeah. Daft cow. Look, you know you're not allowed to wear lipstick to school. Oh, like you've never broken a rule once in your life. <gasps> OK, get that muck off your face, young lady, OK? Man <laughs> <laughs> acts like the sun shines out his backside, but he was a nightmare at school. Burn the science lab down. <gasps> Stop exaggerating. It was one small to moderate fire. Your year was the worst. They were renowned for it. <laughs> you know better. As for David... So, basically, I've got a lot to live up to you, then. Hiya, Carla. Good up, Nick. Let's sit down. No, no, it's all right. I'm not stopping. Go on, just for a few minutes. Nick was just saying how much he's been missing you. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, right. You're such a stirrer. Where's Roy? I just went upstairs. He said he wouldn't be a minute. So, off to Weathy High, are we? Should keep you out of trouble? Oh, we hope. Can't wait to get shut of me, can you, Mummy dearest? Well, it's not like I'm going to be off partying, is it? I need work. Uh, you haven't got anything going, have you? Why, you would dab on the stitching, are you? I could give it a go. I button fell off my shirt. She super glued it back on. Oh, <laughs> very inventive. Not really our style, though, sorry. Come on, Mum. Walk to the bus stop. Let's give these two lovebirds some privacy. Is it wrong to want a sniper? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing here? Did you get a lunch break, you know? Oh, what? You didn't fancy school dinners? What time are you due back? Why are you asking so many questions? You like that? American detective off the TV. Hey? With the dirty coat and the funny eye. Columbo? Ugh, if you must know, I've got a free period after lunch and I'm starving. So, it's farewell for now, Uncle Nicky. I knew you were up to something. You're taking this Columbo thing way too far. You had no intention of going back to school, did you? I told you I'm on a lunch break. What, where are you wanted to school afternoon, is it? I was enjoying that. Yeah, well, I wasn't. Now, listen, cos this is important. Here we go. You're a smart girl. You must know you need to go to school. That place is more like a zoo. They're way behind where we were in Italy. I've done it all before. We'll have a word with the head teacher then. I don't want to go back there. Can't just opt out of school. Oh, take a chill pill. The world's not going to stop turning just cos I've had one day off. <laughs> 
What are you playing at, Bethany? You know, you're supposed to be in school. We've already been through this. Yeah, you still had to drag me back here, though. I didn't ask him to come and get you. I thought you wanted to stay around here. I do, but that school's seriously lame. Fine, I'll go tomorrow. Right. Get right, sorted. Go back to work. Cheer up, Uncle Nicky. You stop calling me that. I tell you what, why don't you take me for some nice food and then you can tell me again how important my education is? Mm. Shouldn't you be going back to school? It's a bit late now. There's not much point. But you go tomorrow. You promise to stay the whole day. Yeah, I promise. Cross my heart and hope. Okay. To... Okay, I get the idea. It's your idea of taking me for something nice to eat. <laughs> Do you really think I was going to reward you for working off school? I just thought you had more style, that's all. Hey, look at you in the street eating chips. That's classy. A pair of slippers and the look would be complete. Uh, have you two just left a training school for witches? Female intuition, Uncle Nicky. Oh, right, you're hunting pears now, dear. Ooh. Right, but it's all right for you to eat chips in the street. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing colour heels, I can pull it off. <laughs> I'll wear my Jimmy Cheese next time. Mm. Now, if you excuse me, I need to have a word with this young lady, and I don't think you're going to be very helpful. This is the part where he gives me a lecture on how important my education is. It's not a lecture. No, what is it then? Pep talk. <sighs> He's like Yoda in a suit. I'll leave you to it. Oh. Thing is, right, the money you save on me having to wear this thing means the more good stuff I should get for outside. Well, I'll tell you what, you start doing a full Dad, day. I'll think about it. Oh, hi, ladies. All right. Hello, man. Got something for you. Ta da What are you playing at? Oh, cool. You are joking me. You know how to wear one of these, right? But David said. Yeah, that... I know. That's why it's best not to say out. He can't afford stuff like this, so we don't want to make him upset, do we? And I put my number in there under Dad and downloaded the maps that you wanted. Thanks, Dad. No problem, little man. A five-year-old has got a better phone than me. I'm not five. I'm eight. Oh, whatever. Come on. Nice one. See you, mate. Come on, Bethany. <sighs> Nick. Oh. Hey, shouldn't you be at school? It's dinner time. Oh. The thing is, I've lost my money. It was in my bag, but... But? It's not there now. Somebody must have nicked it. I'll go into the office and get it. Oh, he's like the Queen. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear this. Well, she doesn't carry cash, does she? Yeah. See what I've got. Oh, there you go. Well, wow, that'll buy you a butty at Roy's. Ta. You should totally invite her to that wine thingy. School! She's a teenager, she's gonna want a sick phone, innit? Is that for me? Ah, that's up to your mum. Oh, what? Uh, well, Bethany, I haven't actually said this. This is sick, thanks. Beth. Yes. I've got a bad stomach. Listen, go to school, don't go to school. It makes no odds to me. She mum will get into trouble at end of day, so please yourself. Why would she get into trouble if I didn't go to school? Because it's against the law. The parents could get, like, a fine or go to jail, some of them. Is it not the same in Italy? No, it's all, like, long lunches and naps in the afternoon. You can just please yourself, really. Really? Really. There's more to life than exams, Dave. But just go, all right? You're already late. Good morning! Is it? Watcher! <sighs> Shouldn't you be doing your homework or something? What, with Max and Lily there? It's a madhouse. Hey, well, you can't say I'm busy. Yeah, it looks like it. I know these posh phones can do all sorts, but even they won't work by telepathy. Mm, funny. Is it Carla? Eh? Hmm? I'm not a kid. Uh, hmm, you are, actually. I see the way she looks at you and the way you look at her. Is that all you've managed to put? Hi. OK, right, if you're going to be so nosy, why don't you do something useful, lay some tables or something? Olives! <sighs> No, 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 we don't need any more olives. We're never going to need any more oh, olives. Sorry, olive oil. And send. Hey, hey, what have you done? Just my good deed for the day. No need to thank me. You have to see Nick. No way. I just thought he mentioned it, that's all. Oh, well, I did see him briefly. So, 
what happened. It's been the shortest day in history. Don't be daft. It wasn't a date. It was just my mate, aren't we? He said it was a date. Well, he must have been winding you up. Do you know what? You two will be on Zimmer frames by the time one of you finally makes a move. Just flip and get on with it, will you? It's doing my head in. <laughs> right, Max. It's bank holiday, so... How do you fancy a trip to the fair or something? Yeah. Yeah? How do you remember that spaceship thing on the merry-go-round last year? The merry-go-round? They're for babies. Oh, yeah? Says who? My dad. I want to go on the waltzers. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm big enough. But you won't want any candy floss, will you? That's for babies. Ah, that's got you, hasn't it? What time are you going? Uh, about half twelve-ish. What time are you going to get back? Where do you want to know? I just thought maybe I could take Bethany when I finish work. And you're asking me when I'm going because... Where is it? Take me where? There, this afternoon. Oh, sorry, can't. I'm going shopping with Audrey. Got my eye on the new leather jacket. We could go tonight, though. Have you, um, got any shopping you need doing? Shopping? Yeah, I thought maybe, you know, I could just get a few bits in. Just give you a bit more time with the kids. Careful, Sarah. I might die of shock in a minute. <laughs> well, the office there if you want it. His phone's still off. Do you even know how to do that? <laughs> Well, your grand's back tomorrow. She's going to flip if she comes back to all this. Have you checked he hasn't called up with your boyfriend? Are you on about David? Him and the kids left in a cab ages ago. What? What? Well, did he say where he was going? Well, I can't hear through car doors. OK, so... right, right, right. Both kids? Why? Well, maybe he's just gone to the park or town. <laughs> right. Does that make it easier, telling yourself that, does it? Oh, you don't think he's... Oh, come, this is David. He knows what he's done. How do you think getting off with a local felon was going to play out? I mean, I know you're a few brain cells short. Oh, don't you dare call me thick. I had a very successful career before I landed back in this dump. Yeah, working for our uncle, who only gave you the job because he felt sorry for you, and you couldn't even keep that, because you're too busy fooling around with a bloke trying to ruin our brother's life. Oh, Nick, just have a day off, will you? Do you know, you're fooling no one with all this brotherly loyalty after what you did. What did he do? What did you do? Yeah, so if anybody betrayed your precious brother, it was you. Oh, we should have come back years ago. It's David. Well, answer it then. David. Well, you said not to worry. Let's not bother then. Mm. Have you checked for passports? Mm, it's the first thing they do in true crime movies, check to see if their passports are missing. Well, he's probably halfway to Mexico by now. Yeah, and who would have put that idea in his head? Go on, all of them. Why did you have to mention doing a runner? Uh, it was a throwaway comment, not an action plan. Oh, what is wrong with him? David always does the worst possible thing. Two weeks before the court hearing, what's his grand plan? Abduct Max. Oh, it's Callum. OK, you say nothing. Not Bethany seeing them leave, passports. No, 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 nothing. Oh, man. It does say family size on that packet. So save it for your family. Have you met my family? Give me some lem. Oh, no, I try not to snack between meals. So I am uh, stocking up in case of emergency. Some of these things you won't have. Try me. Right, batteries times four. Padlock, one large, and one roll of duct tape. What is this? Fifty shades? How old are you? Old enough to read. So, batteries, size C. Uh, is Pisa. Are you OK? Mm -hmm. And are uh, these padlocks too small? Yes. Hmm. And I'm sorry, we don't get many ducks in here, so no. <laughs> it's ducked with a T, you loony. Uh, look, uh, I'll get some of our Jason. He's got rolls and rolls of the stuff. Oh, thank you, Todd. In my corner again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll pay Jason, obviously. Ah, put it on the slate. Oh, no, you, uh, you don't do that, do you? Um, on the house. Uh, camper van. Motorhome. <laughs> it's on me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Come on the revolution. Yes. <laughs> Feels sick now. He's got off the call. I think that we're going to have to wait for him to make the next move. But we haven't got time. Callum's going to be all over us today. I'm surprised he hasn't called already. 
Actually, um, he has called a couple of times. What? What did you say to him? What could I say? I just didn't pick up. Sarah? Well, I was just giving David a chance to call. I thought, you know, if he cleared his head. He's not the one who <coughs> wasn't thinking clearly. He didn't forget who his family were or where his loyalties should lie. Mum, I've said I'm sorry about this. So you packed him in, have you? The man who single-handedly destroyed your brother's family? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Babies and bathwater, Gran. Callum is the buffest guy my mum has had in ages. I mean, the fact that he's got two separate eyebrows puts him one above half the guys she met in Italy. <laughs> sorry. Would someone tell her the grown-ups are talking? Look, I know I shouldn't have gone behind anybody's backs, but what has Callum done? I mean, really, he just wanted access to his son. Oh, I think he's gained access to far more than that. OK, 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 that's enough. You need to ring him back before he calls the police. We need more time. How? What am I supposed to say? Well, as you know him far more intimately than any of us, I would say that's up to you. Sure, it was 23. Oh, maybe it was Moatbrook Road or Lane. No, as if I'm going to do that to you. Look, just let me double-check with my mum and I'll get back to you. No, not straight away, because I don't know where she is. Yes, I could, I suppose, but she's got it turned off half the time. Look, I tell you what, I will call you as soon as I've managed to... Callum. Sweet nothings or nothing sweet. What did it sound like to you? Mm, the usual with you and blokes. What have you done now? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I've just made a massive problem a hundred times worse. Probably cost myself a boyfriend in the process and more. When did you get back? What do you care? The kid's all right. Yeah, well, I want the bit. Are you kidding? He lost Max. I had to call him rescue him. <laughs> rescue him? You'll have to start wearing your pants outside your trousers. <laughs> it's not funny. He could have been knocked down, snatched, anything. Yeah, don't blow things out of proportion. Dave is not the first person to lose a child. I mean, these things happen. Not to my lad, they don't. Not when I've got him full time. In your dreams. You're the one who's kidding himself. It's the reason why he did a runner in the first place. Max is nothing to you, never has been. Get out of my house! Calm down, Dave. I don't want any aggro anymore. I'm sick of it. You know, Max might want to see his half sister, so we need to be a bit more grown up. Get out! Go on, get out and take her with you and all. What? You heard. Get your stuff. I don't want you here. Mum? It's David's house, and quite frankly, I don't blame him. Oh, what about me? What have I done? How long have you got? You're stroppy, you're selfish, you're a ship off the old block. Fine, well, at least we know where we stand. Right, come on, we'll go next. Are you still here? I'll go. But I'll be coming back to take Max, because he wants to be with his real family, not you. Fine, whatever, just get out. I'll be outside if you want to hand me your stuff. All this. Well, I'm not. Give me a swish apartment over a tatty semi any day of the week. Glad to get out of there. I'll be glad Max is out of there. He's got a hell of a temper on him, your uncle. He's a flaming psycho. If you heard off the stuff he's done. Hmm? Yeah, he's got a bit of a dodgy past. He would have killed Uncle Nick, and he calls me stroppy. Yeah, uh, your mum was saying what 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 exactly happened? Apparently, he caused the car crash on purpose. Right. If you need anything else, you know where I am. Thanks, Roy. You were turning into Mum. You know, for once, I agree with her. So what are you going to do? Are you going to ban me from seeing him? Oh, well, you're living under my roof now. Uh, yeah, and you need more orange juice. You need to chill. Uh, chill? when half of my family are fighting the other half of my family. I didn't pick a fight. No, but you did pick Callum. Do I criticise your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. Oh, sorry, woman, you got pregnant. Where am I ever going to find a decent role model in my life? Oh, shut up. See? Is that new? Uh, yeah, do you like it? Yeah, where'd you get that from? I bought it. With what? I have money. Shouldn't you be at school? What's it to do with you? She really is charming. Come on, you're going to miss the bus. Laters. Laters. Oi, watch it. Sorry, you okay? That nearly hit me. Yeah, I said sorry. <laughs> you will fancy her. You will. <laughs> Got stuck with a babysitting. You tell him why don't you make a deal with me? You don't change your mind. Well, if he delivers his agreed, though, we'll take one of his internal organs. Nothing vital, maybe just a kidney. Trust me, he'll cave. All right, bring me back. What was that? Business. 
Yeah, what kind of business? My business. Got to start the cash now. I've got a kid, Anna. Did you get my text? Yeah, well done. Uh, finish in five minutes. You don't look very pleased. You win, my brother loses. Well, if David had been reasonable, I wouldn't have had to do it. Yeah. I wasn't the one who tried to smuggle a kid out of the country. Come on, he was desperate. Anyway, you got what you wanted. No need to rub it here. I was thinking we could call around in a bit anyway, make some arrangements. It's not a good idea. Well, the judge said I can see my son. What are you doing here? On Gone X Tally's on the blink. Are you coming and sort it out? You're supposed to be doing your homework. Well, they didn't give us any. It's a nice bracelet. Oh, thanks, it's new. Mm. Hiya. Come in peace. Oh, chance to be a fine thing. Hi. You! Hope it's not a bad time. What'd you bring him round for? Oh, that's a nice welcome, isn't it? Well, you're gonna have to stop with the fighting because they've got to make arrangements for Max. I don't believe it. How dare you show your face around here after what you've done? What did I do? You filled him in on every stupid thing I've ever done, so then his lawyer can make me sound like a total nut job. I never told him anything. Yeah, right. It's true. I asked her, but she wouldn't tell me. So how did you know then? Sorry, never reveal my sources. I'd tell him. You sure? Yeah, because I want to know too, because otherwise he's just going to keep thinking it's me. Well, in that case... Oh, thanks a bunch. Well, he said he was worried he'd never be allowed to see Max, so... Right, so that makes sense. So you bought her a new bracelet? No. Nah. Bribed a kid. Sounds about right. Uh, no, actually, I gave her the money for the bracelet for helping out the bistro. Thank you. Yeah, but still, you shouldn't be telling him stuff about your Uncle David. Don't have a go at her, have a go at me. I did what I had to to see my son. Yeah, you bullied her and then took advantage. What? I get him for two nights, you have him for five. And I'm his real dad, where's the justice in that, eh? Yeah, well, you're not having him. I'll appeal it. There's no way I'm letting you take him into your dodgy, dealing gangster David. world. I'll keep an eye on him as well. Sarah, you haven't got a clue. We came round here to be reasonable. You were the judge, I won, you lost. Roll on Friday, cos I'm the daddy. So what are you doing this afternoon, then? Same as this morning, staring out the window, wondering why all the boys in my class are such monsters. Well, look at my boys, they're there to get an education. Oh, so I don't end up like you. Hiya! I suppose I should have expected that. You're lucky I'm still talking to you. All right, I said I was sorry for dropping a minute with Callum. Anyway, do you think I'm having a good time living with Nick? Don't put your feet on the sofa, use a coaster and it's called a magazine rack for a reason. Uh, at least we have somewhere to live. All right, come on, go. You're gonna be late back to school. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Can't believe I missed it. We're glad you did. We'll be staying at Grand's. No, yeah, but all my stuff's in there. Can't you borrow some of I don't see what your problem is, it's just a stupid T-shirt. Yeah, well, it's Kylie's stupid T-shirt, all right? And I don't want Max getting upset. Here, put that on. You are joking me. Well, it's either mine or Gail's. It's your choice. No, I'm definitely not wearing Grandma's clothes. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Who was that? Well, they didn't say. Listen, late brain, the day you know something, I don't. You are so annoying. Go on, get in. Max, go and put the telly on. There's laws against watching little kids, you know. Let's face it, if your flat did go up in smoke, you'd be a bit upset. But obviously it wasn't that. I've been trying to phone you. Bathroom. And the kids are all right. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. Max is at Addy's house. Well, you could have let me know. No phone, duh. Which is why I couldn't tell you when Kylie showed up today. What? Kylie was here? No, she was outside watching us. Well, did, did Max see her? You sure it was her? Yes, I know what she looks like. I'm telling you, it was definitely Kylie. And when I went over to talk to her because I thought she was a weirdo, she legged it. Well, what did she look like? Was she off her head or what? How am I supposed to know? Did she look rough? 
Mm, yes, I suppose. Right, well, you can't say a word about this to anybody, all right? Bethany, I'm serious. Keep your gob shut, all right? Make yourself at home. Mm, I'm starving. School dinners are vile. All I ever ate were chips. Should be about 30 stone. Mm, must be rubbish having such an addictive personality. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. My mate's brother can't stop eating grout. What? Grout, the stuff they stick in between the tiles. Totally addicted he is. Probably do a lot less harm than what I were on. What was that exactly? You proper nosy you, aren't you? Late. Don't be such a grump, David. We were having fun. Yeah, David. Uh, mister, when did you get so lippy? Since his mum did one. Sorry we're late. We, um... We came home via the game shop. Oh, let's have a look. What have I told you about buying him stuff all the time? Oh, you're such a misery guts. Right, come on, son. Time for your medication. That stuff needs to be kept under arm guard. Funny. Seriously? You need one of them massive safes? It needs to be bomb-proof to keep her out of it. <laughs> so, she took Jack. Apparently she's hiding out in a hole. They're all over there now. Kevin, Rita, Sophie. That's terrible. Her dad tried to kill Rita. It all goes on round here, doesn't it? Just dreads a thing what about Jenny's doing to little Jack. Why would she want to do something like that? Well, some people can be very strange. Mm, talk of the devil. Shouldn't somebody be out looking for Kylie? What's the point? She'll be long gone. I don't think we should waste any more time fretting about her. Well, don't say that. She's probably just having a walk or something. She'll be back. Oh, you know what they say. Once a junkie, always a junkie. Once you try a crack, you never go back. You don't know what you're talking about. Do you know, she's probably out there now on the streets trying to score. I don't even know what you're doing here. You don't even live here. She uses this place like a walk-in wardrobe. Oh, well, I'm right, though. No, you're not. I've got faith in Carly, all right? Maybe she's gone to see Callum. He's in the pub. Anyway, he's a reformed character. Yeah, with a deformed personality. I better get back to work. I don't know why you're all so down on her. You just keep telling yourself that you're right, David, but, you know... Don't be too shocked if she tips up here gurning and talking rubbish at four in the morning. I thought that were your department. Huh, funny. How's Max? Are you all right? Uh, yeah, he's just having his bath. Mm, secret admirer. What is it? It's Eileen. What's happened to her? Nothing. More's the pity. No, she says, um... She says Michael's having his ICD on Friday. Right. And I should be there, holding his hand. Why is life such a mess, eh? Where have you been? Are you off your box? Oh, yeah? Come on, walk in a straight line. Shut up, Bethany. Where have you been, Kylie? David's been going out of his mind. I've been to see the doctor. Really? I wanted to talk about getting some help. It's one thing getting clean, it's another thing keeping clean. I'm serious about this. I'll tell you something else. What? Can't do it on my own. Who's that? Got a grand locked up. Who were it? I'm with you, aren't I? Or do you not want to hear what I heard today about David and Kylie? Oh, go on. Well, if I'm not meant to be here, then... Oh, just go on, tell me. OK, so basically, I went to the salon to see Audrey, but she wasn't in there, so... Yeah, go on. Can't be that much of a secret if they told you. Well, they didn't, though, I overheard. Really? What was it about? Me, obviously, and the court case. Oh, well, Bethany, I'm Max's dad. If it affects his future, I need to know. It's OK. Uh, yeah, they're just upstairs playing. Oh, well, you can go then if you like. Unless you want to change Lily's nappy. Uh, no, I'll, I'll let you do that. All right, see you around then. Yeah. OK, bye then. Mm. Bye, Bethany. Thanks again. 
They make a nice couple, don't they? Well, oh, I could do without the public displays of affection. Well, it's nice to see somebody happy for a change. Well, I'm sorry I'm not exactly in the party mood, Mother. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing here. You're here because it's Erica's birthday and she's having a baby with your son. Right? Don't remind me. Well, this is going to be a barrel of laughs. So, who wants to drink while we're waiting? I thought you'd never oh, ask. Yeah, it is you. you. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I've had that one before. That's because he usually gives you the cheap stuff. Thank you, Bethany. Where is the birthday girl, then? Cool. She'll be here in... Weird being knocked up at her age. Don't say knocked up. That's your uncle's knocked up girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, how old was your mum when she had you? Thirteen. I think she had the record round here till uh, they popped one out anyway. I don't think so. Fine, whatever. Uh, that bloke over there wants his bill. You are one devious little cow. Oh, no, and I feel terrible about it. I really do. Maybe. We should go clubbing together one night. It's all the rage for mothers and daughters these days. Hiya. So you're going to pay, are you? The only reason you want to go. Uh, you should be glad I'm not ashamed of you. Well, anyway, you're too young. All right, don't bite my head off. So be you tonight. She's in a strop. When isn't she? Did you speak to him? Speak to who? I suppose you should know. Me and Callum are finished. Really? No wonder you're in a mood. Has he been going with someone else? No. Then what? I asked him if he was using me. Did he admit it? No. He denied it. Didn't like me questioning him, though. Didn't like that you sussed his game plan, more like. So he dumped you? You better be right. Oh, I'm right. Well, you'll get back with him. I've been here loads of times. We're going back to Italy. What? <sighs> Hiya, Callum. It's Bethany. How are you? Good, yeah. Um, there's something that I need to talk to you about. Is it OK if I come round? Have a seat. Nice place. Mm. Does your mum know you're here? Interesting. So what can I do for you? Well, it's about mum. I told you that scumbag's selling underweight. I knew I should have took my scales. So this is what you do for a living. I didn't know you had company. Just go and take that with you. You didn't see that, OK? Well, that depends. What? Maybe we can help each other out here if you don't want people finding out what I just saw. Go on, then. Put your cards on the table. Mum told me it was over between you and her, and I was just wondering how serious you were about that. Has she sent you? I told you. She shouldn't even know I'm here. She'd kill me. So what's all this to you? Well, she's dead upset and thinking of going back to Italy. Really? Which means I'd have to go too. <laughs> and you don't want that? Come on. You know you like her. Do I? And you've got Max to think of. Max? It'll look better for you in court if you're with Mum and me. Respectable family man and all that. You're more ballsy than I had you down for. That is something to think about, all right? Thought you might see it like that. What's on? Not really watching it. Right, come on, madam, let's get gone. You're looking pleased with yourself? What's this in aid of? Callum came crawling back, didn't he? I thought you said he dumped you. Well, let's just say he saw sense. And you believed him? Why else would he do it? I told you, he's playing you. Look, just because you were with him once, like, a million years ago, doesn't mean you know everything. People change. Sarah, he dumped you because you rumbled him, and now he realises he still needs you, so he's just conned you into taking him back. Well, I'm with David and Kylie on this. Oh, fed up. Right, come on, Bethany, let's go. 
Uh, does this mean we don't have to go back to Italy? Oh, where's that? Sarah, so, look. I do know what it's really like. You're making a big mistake. Will it be all right on your own today? Yeah, well, Grand's cancelled most of her appointments. I've rearranged Maria, so... All the other kids are going. You don't even like French. I guess, but I like Paris. Oh, is your mum giving you a hard time again, Bethany? She won't pay for me to go on a really important educational school trip to France. Educational? You'll be chasing lads and trying to skank free drinks off them the whole time. I'm not paying nearly 500 quid for that. Just because you don't value education doesn't mean that I don't. I don't know why you're doing French anyway. Why don't you just do Italian? You speak that already. If I already speak it, then why do I need to learn it? Duh. Because it still counts as a GCSE. Duh. So you might actually get one. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? Huh? Poor Ken's burying Deirdre today. Show some respect, please. Sorry. So you should be. Was I this much of a pain when I was her age? Yes. yes. <laughs> Busted. Shut up, you. Come on, let's get on the bus. Um, it's just there. I'm pretty sure I can go on my own. I want to see you get on it. Come on. Get on the road, you muppet. Sure. All right, fancy seeing you in. You all right, Callum? Yeah. You working today? You know I am. Don't fancy wagging it, do you? Mate's having a little house party this afternoon. I wonder if you fancy joining me. Mm, it's neighbour's funeral. I'm helping out with the food. Shame. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. Okay. All right. What are you doing here? Come stand school a minute longer. Thought the sounded much more fun. Oh, that takes me back. Well, it's a good job I know the bartender. Got a drink? Uh, yeah. Cider, no ice. You had a tequila before then? What am I, nine? Down the hatch then. Oh, yeah. Cider only. No more shots for you. Your mother will string you up. Well, don't tell her then. I don't intend to. Yo, what are you after? Who does he think he is? My dad? So, you come into this party later then? It's gonna be mental. It's double geography. Oi, <laughs> 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 uh, where do you think you're going? Chill out. I'm taking her back to mine. I'm gonna get her some gear to wear. I'm going over to Bill and George's for the party. Huh, forget it. You've got to get around to Mickey's to get the cash and bring it back here. You've got to sober up, mate. What about the party? The party's over for you, kid. Now move it. Come on. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Come on, Bethany, now. Stop acting like a big kid, will you? Fine, seeing as though you are so nicely. Come on, get in. So, as far as your mum's concerned, you wagged it and I saw it at the Trafford Centre, right? I still get into trouble. Yeah, but I won't for letting you get bladdered. I'm fine now. You're fine when I say you're fine and keep eating. <sighs> you know, <sighs> Mum won't let me go on this school trip to Paris. Huh. I don't blame her. It'd be a shame if she found out I spent the day with you in the boozer. Are you blackmailing me? Imagine the brownie points if her big bad boyfriend pays for a little princess to go on a trip she can't afford. That's not a completely change up. Seen Bethany? She'd have that printed on her hat. It's not funny, I'm worried. Found something in the traffic that belongs to you. Thanks, Colin. You. You're in so much trouble. What's new? Ah, go easy on her, eh? I've had a story. Oh, she would be getting more than that. Right, come on, home now. I'll give you a lift. No, thanks. How long do you think you can keep this good guy act up for? Everyone can change, Kylie. Isn't that what you've been telling David? He's up to something. Oh, forget about him. It's Sarah's problem now. Thank you. Keep the change. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I could sleep for a week. Yeah, I need to get back to work, but we need to have a little chat first. Paris was boring, Mona Lisa was small. I ate too many pastries. About Callum. 
What about him? I know what you've been doing. What? Smoking dope? Dealing drugs for him? I never. Don't lie to me. I know everything. How do you know? Does it matter? Look, what on earth did you think you were doing? I only had one joint, that's all, and I didn't even finish it. And the dealing. Well, I was only doing what he said, I didn't know. You didn't know that you were dealing drugs? Do you have any idea how much trouble you could be in? I'm sorry. I need you to promise me. Well, you're gonna stay away from Callum, and if he comes anywhere near you, you tell me, okay? Yes. Look, you've got to promise me he's a dangerous man. I was so wrong about him. Just promise me that you'll stay away from him. Yes, okay, I promise. Hey, you're back. How was Perry? Rubbish. I'll go and sort out my stuff. Yeah, suggest you fire up that washing machine. Need a helmet, you case? No. Is she okay? I hope so. Mm. Hey, how was Paris? Never mind Paris. What have you been saying to my mum? I haven't said anything to your mum. We're ancient history. Well, how come she knows about the drug stuff then? Whoa! Keep your voice down. You must have said something to her. Uh, I haven't said anything to her. I don't know where she gets her information from. Maybe we should talk about this later. Oh, yeah. Thing is, I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got to get to court sort out my access for Max. We could meet up after. You know, go for a drink, some food, baby. Just me and you. We can talk then. Like a date? Too right, like a date. What time? Where? You go home and I'll text you. You promise? Cross my heart. My mum told me not to see you. Well, it's like you're in trouble already then. Hmm. Hiya. You okay? I'm fine. I uh, saw your mum earlier. She said you finished with Callum. He finished with her? Yeah. Is she still best with her? She wishes. What do you mean? Nothing. Listen to me. Callum is bad news. He's dangerous. Mm, that's what she says. Why is he best than you and all? If he tries anything with you, you come and see me. OK? You come and see me. This was you, wasn't it? He'll get you for this. You hear me? He'll get you! Answer your flaming phone! We need you to give us a statement. Just be one <laughs> What's going on? Was that Callum? Yeah, look, everything's gonna be okay, but I just I need to speak to the police and go back to the flat. What's the result? Oh, have you seen Callum? What's going on? Where's your mum? She's in the pub. What's happened with the police? Ask him yourself. Where is she? In the pub. Should they let you off then? Yeah. Oh, I nearly would. Oh, did you? Expert in the law now, are we? Why are you being nasty to me? I'm on your side. You're a child. A stupid little girl. Did you really think I'd ever be interested in someone like you? You're a joke. You said you liked me. You were useful, that's all. Now you're just a waste of space. So run along, Barbie, before the big bad man does something really nasty to you. I hate you. Good. I feel it's mutual. I do one. In the pub? Yep. <laughs> you live here. What's up, come in? <laughs> What's up, love? Do us a favour, just get us a glass of water. Do you want a chip? Dad, just... All right, it's OK. It's all right. You saying sugar? She says no. Feeling a bit better now. Do you want some ketchup? Mayonnaise? There you go. Nice mug of tea. Mug of tea always makes things better. 
We might be able to help if you talk to us. I want to talk to him. Right, fair enough. I'll, um, see you in the morning. Kick the chips. Yeah, cheers, Dad. So, what's happened? Callum was really horrible to me. Well, what did he do? Did he hurt you? I thought he liked me. He said he did. He said that he liked me more than Mum, but he was just using me, treating me like a kid and laughing at me. I'm so stupid. Did he, uh... Did he do anything? He made me deliver drugs for him. He what? I was only doing what he said. Mum said I could be in really big trouble. Look, nobody will blame you for being tricked into doing something, OK? I don't want to go to prison. Hey! Now you listen to me. I won't let that happen. He can't touch you now. Such an idiot. Tonight is important. It's Gwen's birthday. She's had over 70 already. That's not the point. Yeah, Mum, that's not the point. Get with the programme. Give it a rest. What is the point? Michael's going to be there. Oh, hang on. I thought you and him were done and dusted. Well, divorce proceedings haven't begun. And you're hoping he's suddenly going to come to his senses or something? No. But a warm and non-stressful family gathering might help him take stock. Oh, if that's a dig at Callum, don't worry, he won't come in. Good, because he's not invited. Now, what was the favour you wanted? Favour? I need £400 so I can go to Paris next week. Bethany! It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Just ignore her. But please, Gran. Promise I'll pay you back. Bethany, you're putting me in a very difficult position. I forget I mentioned it. It's not the money you want. Seriously, wanted. forget it. Why aren't you inside? Your mum turfed me out. No way. Hmm. Apparently, I was never invited. So come on, what's the score? She won't let me go to Paris. You dragged me out of the house just to wind her up? No. OK, partly that, but also because I thought it'd be nice to hang out. You're not mad, are you? No. I'm actually quite flattered. I'll tell you what misery got. So how about me and you hang out tomorrow? What, just you and me? Mm, sound good. Sounds awesome. Then my work here is done. Laters. Laters. I was, uh, just coming to see if you were OK, you know, because of last night. Oh, that's nice of you. Well, I'm, I'm coping, you know. Good. Also, I was wondering if I could borrow a five for the bus. I'm going to see a mate. Well, I suppose. Actually, could you make that a tenner so then I can get some lunch? As long as you promise to be back for your shift at the bistro. I will. Thanks. Right, um, I promise... You really? I was bored. Yeah, well, I'm busy at the minute. I won't get any mates. Promise. Haven't you got any mates? They're all kids. <laughs> I really love your flat. It's so cool. I'm gonna have a place like this one day. Right, well, find something to do. And don't natter. I need to concentrate. No probs. You won't even know I'm here. Did you work yet? No. Should I make you a coffee or something? No. Have you thought any more about my trip? You better go and buy a beret. You're about to go to Paris. Really? You're going to pay for it? You owe me, OK? OK, thanks. I'd go and see your mum now, but, you know, I've got a lot on today. Visits and that. Right, so should I just go then? You can always come along for the ride if you want. Go on. I'd enjoy the company. OK, then. Great. Just got to make a quick call. Mickey? Yeah, it's Callum. Need a favour, mate. 
Yeah, but I'm calling it in now. Yeah, if you didn't have to work, I'd take you out somewhere fancy for lunch. Maybe I should sometime. Uh, this is fine. Beak's washing up. Is that what you're meant to be doing now? Yeah, the bistro. It's not even minimum wage. Shocking. Mm. No wonder you're bonking off. Anyway, you should be out having fun, not acting as slave labour for your uncle. Exactly. This life, you've got to look after yourself. No one else will. Remember that. Anyway, what's the fastest you've been in a car? Um, 70, 75. Well, we'll have to change that, won't we? Hold on to your seat, babe. <laughs> Do us a favour. I've got a nipple go see someone. Can you take that to number 20? You still save me some time. What? You can ask me favours, but I can't ask for one back. Don't worry, it's not drugs. Thanks. Cheers. And don't post it for the letterbox. Give it the bloke who answers his name's Mickey, all right? Well, you're not scared, are you? Of course not. Good. I'll meet you back here. So fast. He didn't say anything about that. He'd be pretty mad if he doesn't get it. Good girl. 